Good evening, Louisa Rebgetz with ABC News. The ABC has obtained shocking new images showing allegations of child mistreatment at a Townsville youth detention centre. The documents reveal numerous allegations of excessive force in a potential breach of the law. And a warning, this story contains some distressing content. These images taken from CCTV footage show a teenage boy being pinned to the floor. His hands and ankles are shackled. An internal state government report says a knife was used to cut the boy's clothing off, leaving him naked on the floor. No kid deserves to be treated like that. Shailene Solomon is a former youth worker at the centre. She claims she witnessed other instances of excessive force. Like, what is that going to teach him about his self-esteem? It's just one incident documented in inspectorate reports dating back several years. They've been obtained under right to information by Amnesty International. With the weight and the force and cuffing a young person to, the, to that extreme, this young boy could have died. The incident was considered so serious, the Queensland Inspectorate found it potentially breached the law and could have caused emotional, psychological and physical harm. It ordered a formal review, but it never happened because there were insufficient resources. This is why it is so important that there is an independent inspector who is allowed access to detention centres, who is able to monitor and report on these situations of human rights abuses in another documented incident from last year, an unmuzzled guard dog was used to intimidate an Aboriginal girl. An internal report found the use of the dog breached Queensland guidelines. Children in detention are being mistreated. Russell Johnson is a former inmate at the Cleveland facility. He too alleges he was a victim of excessive force. I'd have bruising and swelling like to my face and back. There was um, some days where I couldn't walk because my back was so sore from the night before I had got dropped. The 17-year-old is speaking out about being tormented by guards who he claims regularly bashed and racially abused him. They used to call me um, black dog or caged monkey. Queensland's Attorney General says she's unable to comment on the fresh allegations, but she says any new complaints will be addressed. Townsville elders are fed up and say multiple complaints about mistreatment at Cleveland have been ignored. This has been a mass conspiracy of silence and the people at the top who have uh, just shelved these reports need to be dealt with. The elders are calling for the Royal Commission into Youth Detention in the Northern Territory to be widened to include Queensland. Alison Horne, ABC News.